Okay, today we're going to learn about sumi painting. It is a Japanese ink based painting using bamboo brushes, bamboo handle brushes, water, and ink. Today we're just going to use black watercolor because it's a little bit more inexpensive. Now, when you start with the bamboo brushes, they kind of look like this. But after you get them wet and you put them in the water, and you want to twist on the edge of the water cup. Twist, just like that, to create that nice point. Just like that. There's different size brushes for different sizes of things that you're going to paint. Now, you will be given a handout that looks like this. It has a few different words on it that you can practice and you can see which direction to go. This one means sky. So we're gonna try that one out today. So I'm gonna dip my wet brush into my ink here. Make sure the bristles are wet. And I want to roll and twist making a nice point. Now, Sumi painters would meditate before they paint so they know exactly what to do. And you wanna hold your brush almost like a lobster claw, like straight up and down, just like this. And just like everybody's handwriting, Sumi painting is going to look a little bit different as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one means sky. You're gonna do a series of that. You can do that in your sketchbook. And the more ink you put on your brush, the darker it will be. As you can see, this is much darker because I have a little bit more, but I didn't wanna waste it. So you're gonna do a series of all of the ones in the packet on your table. There's love, sky, time, and dream. You're gonna do those in your sketchbook for practice to start Sumi painting. And then you're gonna do a little research on the internet on your Chromebooks and look up some images after we see the PowerPoint today. There's some images of bamboo. I can show you a very simple Sumi painting of some bamboo. And we'll use the larger bamboo brush. And we'll also use the smaller bamboo brush. So for the first part of the bamboo trees, I'm going to dip and turn, remember, twist, so you get that nice point, just like that. I'm going to make almost like a foot on my paper and go straight up and stop and straight up and stop and straight up and stop and keep going. There's one bamboo stalk. Now, you'll see that there are some variation in the line and that's okay. It's just where the bristles didn't touch the paper and it also acts like some value, like some highlight. We'll do that again. One, two, three, four, continue. I can turn my bamboo brush a little bit on its side, a little more of an angle to create a smaller one, or one that might be overlapping. Anytime you overlap, I can go a little bit darker. Okay, so I did that. And I'll set that down on my paper towel, and now I'll get the small brush. With the small brush, dipping it in the water, 
and dipping it in my ink. I can create the little variations between the bamboo stalks, holding the brush vertically. Create little stems. And to create the bamboo leaves, I want to press and swipe, making that nice point. Press and swipe, press and swipe. That creates a nice little bamboo leaf off the side. Maybe I'll do another little one right here. Press and swipe. Wipe. Okay, so then you can go ahead and practice a bunch of different Sumi paintings. I do have a book and you will get a handout of a whole bunch of different things. So that's what we're going to do today. As a review, you're going to practice your words. You're going to practice some bamboo, and then let's say you can practice a little animal or a bird. Sumi painting.